here that Jake's pointing at. Underneath there is where I recycled a whole bunch of leaves and my compost. That's how it started. I just kind of started mixing them together because I didn't have any place to put it and I was running out of room in the plastic machine. Came down around the material, which gave me the idea of just starting these gardens. And so we just thought we'd show you our gardens as they stand right now. And we'll just kind of move in on those. This first one here, we've got a tomato plant and the lettuce. This lettuce has done really well for us. Uh, we've, we've been eating it basically for a month and a half or two months now. There's a little shallot in the upper left-hand corner. Ready to be pulled. And uh, coming over here, this is this year's expansion of the garden, this little L shape so I could get in all the tomato plants. It has different soil and I'm not too happy about that, but anyway, and in the upper left there, there's tomatoes and underneath there, there's some spinach and stuff. The potatoes have just gone wild and we're gonna have to uh, cull them out pretty soon so we have some light. This is a pepper plant, which I'm experimenting with in Alberta, and cucumber. Here we've got some oregano. This will be very good. This is growing quite nicely. And, um, I don't know if the spinach is still alive in between there. There's, there was some spinach. Oh, left. it's not looking good. The potatoes have uh, kind of... Let's see. Crazy. Yeah, it's bolted already. We didn't have time to harvest this spinach, but I know what Cat would say, wait for the seeds. <laughs> and uh, coming around here, this is this is the original garden over here with the uh, peas, which have done really well this year. And we have shallots in between here. Again, those have kind of been taken over a little bit, so time to, we've mounted the potatoes twice. Here we have some peas that are doing well. These are, we tried to use all organic seeds. Here we have the catnip over in the corner. And you can see the cats have sat in it and rolled around many times and enjoyed that. Where are the kids? Oh, and, and nasturtiums. Some edible flowers are coming up nicely. Now point over at the fence there. Oh, that's the road. That's McLeod Trail, the major artery into the south of Calgary. We've made it much nicer. I planted chairs. Okay. Okay. Okay, so here's the water setup. Just a submersible pump. That's just a little overflow garbage can that I use there. And uh, that just comes out through here. Attach that to our hose here. We'll take a second to pressurize the system. But this way we uh, we have water flow across the lane. It avoids the uh, hand bombing the whole thing over. Pretty simple but allows us to uh, just walk across the uh, lane and uh, do all our watering. We use all the water collection off the roof there so it's kind of a, an enclosed system. Anyway, that's kind of our setup. We just thought we'd show you kind of what we have going now, and we'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye.